founder of Manhood Academy Global. We work with young black boys, not only, but predominantly young black boys in our community, teach them about positive masculinity. What does it mean to be a man? What does manhood look like? What does it mean to be a toxic man? What's the responsibilities of a man? Do you know, um, all of these kind of things, but most importantly, um, at removing barriers to their development. I counted my own sense of self when I went Gambia, 2000 and uh, I think it was 16, I went Gambia and I went with my daughter. And long story short, I came across a different type of man out there. So growing up in London, I've always seen manhood to be a certain way. I've not known anything else. You're strong, you know, you look a certain way, you walk a certain way, you speak to girls a certain way. That, that's what I knew. But when I was in the Gambia now, um, the, the young boys out there and the young men, they were much more empathetic, much more community minded. They were much more in touch with a, a different side of themselves. I was like alien to them. I'm like, wow, is this what you guys do? So I came back to London anyway, and then I started Manhood Academy and yeah, I kind of dedicated my life towards having awkward conversations with young boys and young men about what manhood is and why it's important to be in touch with a certain side of yourself. And it's been revolutionary since, you know, like we've been on BBC a few times. It's, it's a conversation that people want to have once it's delivered in a certain way, if that makes sense. So one of the, one of the highest like, manifestations of manhood is fatherhood, you know, like every young boy at some point, not every young boy, I don't want to generalize, but a lot of the young boys that I work with, they have images of their future and in their future, yes, money, <laughs> you know, cars, houses, but obviously that like, family and fatherhood as well, you know? So it's just about having those healthy conversations with young people from now, just so they understand what fatherhood entails, um, what it looks like, so on and so forth. But unfortunately, we don't see a lot of positive images um, in the media about amazing fathers. So when I'm watching TV or looking in newspapers, I don't see a lot of strong images of, of men or fathers especially. And uh, yeah, it's this people in our questions to fathers, they even exist. Like what about single mothers or um, families that don't identify as, you know, they're not the traditional man and woman, so to speak, might be like two women. So fathers, in my opinion, always get um, the short end of the stick. You know what I mean? Active fathers, I'm not talking about um, like, you know, nuclear family, families. I know a lot of dads who want to be in their children's lives, but they can't because of politics and stuff has happened. And the court system would always favor the mother. That's a story for another time. And these dads are really like, yeah, they really want to be involved. But society says no, because the mom says no. So these fathers are angry and so on. And we want to not only let them know that there's hope, you know, um, but also we as fathers that we recognize that we're not perfect. We recognize that we're working on ourselves, that we're healing with ourselves, but we need other fathers to um, step up. We've got eight amazing fathers, eight amazing community leaders. Um, their reputations are amazing. So we brought them all together on one platform not to talk about the organizations and how great it's doing, but we want them, we want the community to see a different side to them. They want, we want the community to see them that, that they are fathers, that they're sacrificed, that they're there building a legacy for their children. Um, a, a businessman, his name's um, Ade Shakoya. Um, he's an amazing father. He's got um, like three boys. He's doing a lot for them in his community. So he's one individual that will be sharing his story. We've got another individual called Andrew Mohammed, the investigator. He does a lot in the community around um, African history, teaching young people across the UK. Um, so he'll be telling his story about, yeah, like fatherhood and what that means to him. You've got Julian Hall. He's another amazing superhero, um, another Avenger. <laughs> and um, he's got his own organization called Ultra Education. You've got um, Dexter Sims, he's another Avenger. He's, um, he's got his company called Muller um, yeah, Muller Clothing. And I think he was on a voice recently because he's doing stuff around the school patrols. So like he's gonna be there talking about, again, like fatherhood. We've got another brother called um, Atta, who's um, he's got an organization called um, Focus on Africa. We've got Tim Campbell, some of you already know from The Apprentice, he's gonna be there talking about fatherhood. We've got um, MC Creed. He's like the original, original um, UK like, underground hip hop artist, um, like the founder, you know, like he's going to be there. And there's a, we've got a barrister called um, Stephen um, Akinsanya. He's going to be there as well. 
So like they're the eight individuals that we've chosen and we're doing it in partnership with um, 100 Black Men of London, who is another organization that's doing great things around mentoring and young black boys and connecting um, our children with amazing role models. The free Zoom event, so it'll be like this online, just click on the link, just register, and then you'll be able to um, join in in the conversation. Um, the conversation, we really want to um, positively trigger people as well. Um, in terms of the outcomes, we want um, individuals to, number one, to have better relationships with fathers. You know, we know it's not easy out there and it's so easy just to like shut fathers out of lives, you know, um, or fathers to make that decision themselves. But what we need to remember is you can't, you can't remove that emotional tie that a father has with their child. So um, I'll work with children, you know, like the child might be like say nine years old, maybe he's never seen his dad in his life. You ask him, so what's your relationship with his dad? You see, he gets angry straight away. So there's that emotional connection, do you know what I mean? Um, even if he doesn't know his dad, he's still got that, you know, there's there's that feeling, there's that emotional tie that we all have, you know, and we want that to, to be healthier for all the individuals, but also for the fathers, like there's no handbook that teaches dads how to be dads. So there's a whole list of things that we're gonna be touching on today. And um, yeah, we just wanna inspire as many people as possible, really um, shine the spotlight on on amazing fathers who are doing great works, but yeah, they don't always get their flowers when they're here, you know? So we wanna give these eight individuals their flowers now to say, like, thank you, we see you. Let's hear your story, share your story, inspire others, and um, let's keep on elevating up this ladder called success.